Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will discuss on ChatGPT and we will try to understand everything related to ChatGPT. So let's discuss on agenda that we will cover in this video. So first we will see what is ChatGPT and why everyone is talking about this. Then we will see how this can help us in our day to day life. And after that, we will see how you can get started with it. Then we will see how this can help us in our Salesforce development. And also we will try to generate code for some huge cases. Like we will try to create some validation rules, Apex classes, triggers and LWC components as well. Okay. And at the end, we will discuss on what developers will do now. Like after coming chat GPT, what will be the role of developers? Okay. So let's start with what is chat GPT. So we can say. ChatGPT is a powerful chatbot based on machine learning and artificial intelligence and that is developed by OpenAI and released in November 2022 and it became internet sensation just after launched and crossed 1 million users in just 5 days and it can help you like an assistant, mentor or friend which knows everything and you just have to ask question and in backend database it has lots of historical data so using artificial intelligence and machine learning, it will generate answer for your question. And now it is available in beta trial version and it is free as of now, but we can't say about future. Okay. So now let's see what we can do using it and how it can help us. So this can help you to complete many tasks quickly. For example, it can help you to write email content and article and in multiple languages as well. Let's say you want to write an email for sick leave. Then you can take help from chat GPT and it will write a well formatted email for you without any grammar mistake. And we will try this in practical in few minutes. And it can even write a joke, song and movie if you want. And it help you to write customized resume and cover letters. And also it explain complex topic and help us to solve tricky math problems step by step. And also it can help us to give the summary of long article. Let's say you have a content of 1000 words, but you don't have time to read everything. So you can use chat GPT to get the summary of that long text. And if you are preparing for job interview, then also it can help you. And you can ask for interview tips, sample questions on any topic and many more. And also it helps us to write, debug and explain code in any language like C, C++, Java, HTML, JavaScript, Angular, Apex, LWC and many others. So using ChatGPT, you can do almost every task quickly that we will see in practical in few minutes. So now if you want to get started with it, then you have to visit on this website chat.openai.com. So let me open this in my browser. So over here you will see two options, login and sign up. So if you are coming first time over here, then you have to click on sign up, else you can click on login. So let me click on login because I already have my account. Here let me give my email address and click on I am not a robot. Now let's click on continue. Here let me give my password. All right. So once you log in, then you will be redirected here. And this is the place where you will do everything. And here in bottom part, you can see a text box to write your query or question. So you just have to type your question here and press enter. Then it will process your query and show response here. Okay. So for example, let's try to generate the email content for sick leave. So let's type here, please write an email for sick leave and press enter. Now it is started writing content. So you can see over here, this is the subject for our email and this is the content. Okay, so you can see over here, within few seconds we have our email over here and it is well formatted and without any grammar error. And here you just have to put some details like manager name, 
uh, your name and days and date okay and it is not copying this text from anywhere it is generating this text with the help of artificial intelligence and if you feel this is not good content then you can click on this regenerate response so it will generate new answer in some different ways okay so now you can see the content has been changed so this is one example but you can use it wherever it required okay now let's see how we can use it in salesforce development so we can use chat gpt in various part of salesforce development like we can create validation rules apex classes triggers batch classes test methods and also we can create lwc components so let's start with some use cases so first let's create a validation rule to make sure account name should not be greater than 50 characters and website should not be blank so let me copy and paste this use case so your question should be very clear like you should have mentioned what to do where to do and when to do like you can see here create a validation rule on account object to validate account name should not be greater than 50 characters and website should not be blank okay now once you press enter then it will process your query and start writing solution all right so you can see over here this is the condition that we will use in validation rule and it also explain everything like what to do and how we can create in our salesforce org and if you find something wrong then you can click on this regenerate response okay so you can also see the steps over here like you have to go into the setup then object manager then account then validation rules okay now as a next use case let's try to create an apex trigger to create contact when account get created so let me copy and paste this use case and let's press enter So you can see it started writing apex trigger. It has used after insert trigger event. And also it is following the best practices. So you can see over here it is performing the DML out of the loop. And also naming convention is very good. And you can see the commenting also over here. So we can say it is smart enough to follow best practices as well. And it created a whole trigger within few seconds now as a next use case let's convert this trigger into trigger handler framework so let me copy and paste this query here so you can notice here i am saying create about trigger with trigger handler framework so it know like which trigger we are talking about so it is working in context as well so let's press enter it has started creating the trigger handler file okay so like our trigger is converted into a trigger handler framework so it created a trigger code here and calling this trigger handler file method over here okay now let's try to create test method as well for this about trigger so let's write this query here i am saying write test class for about trigger so let's press enter so you can see it is started writing test methods but it seems like it is giving the wrong solution because it is inserting contact as well so let's regenerate response now it is inserting account yes now it is correct actually because in previous example it was inserting contact as well from here but in this case it is inserting only account and querying the contacts uh, with the help of that account id okay and in bottom part it is explaining everything like how this code will execute and what all things are there so as a next use case let's try to create a batch class so let me write our requirement here so our requirement is create a batch class to process all the accounts and update website 
with google.com and write test class as well okay so let's press enter so it is started writing page class and in the start method it is returning the accounts list and in execute method it is updating the website and in finish method it is also sending the email and now it is started writing test methods all right so we have generated our page class and test methods as well in few seconds so now as a next scenario let's create a lightning web component so our query is create a lwc component to show employee list with name dob and salary columns and also create apex method okay so let's see what it will do now it is started creating html file lightning card then it is started creating the table and using for each directory okay now it is started creating js code and with the help of imperative approach it is calling this uh, apex method and it started writing the apex controller and in this controller it is created a get employees method and returning the id name dob and salary and you can notice here this knows like this is a custom object so used underscore underscore c and also over here with custom columns underscore underscore c salary underscore underscore c okay now you might observe some things over here like it is using a for each directive but let's say you want to do it using lightning data table so you have to mention that in question so let me modify my question create a lightning component to show employee with lightning data table and press enter again now let's see what it will generate okay now you can see it is using lightning data table and over here it is defining columns for data table and you can also see over here the uh, data type for columns like currency and date and it is right now it is using imperative approach but if you want to do it using wire then you can mention that in question okay all right so we have a full lwc component within few seconds uh, we just have to write our detailed requirement over here okay now if you notice uh, meta config file is not available here because it is generated only HTML and JS file and this is the controller file but if you want to generate meta config as well then you have to mention that also here okay so you can try it for any requirement like to create validation rules apex classes test methods base classes and LWC components as well okay so we have covered all these scenarios now next we have what developers will do now if everything can be achievable by this chatbot then i would say this is just a chatbot we should not rely 100 percent on this developers are still required because it can help you to give only basic code or structure but in real-time applications you won't be able to generate code for a very complex requirement because you won't be able to make it understand everything like every scenario and also it is not giving 100 percent correct code and also you can find some mistakes in that code so developers have to verify generated code and test it and if you notice there in sample codes there were some mistakes so developer have to verify and test code in org but we can say it can help us to improve productivity because it will give us almost everything auto generated we just have to do some corrections and we are good to use and at least it will give you the basic structure and idea so on top of that you can add your custom logics as well okay so just try to use this tool to implement your requirements and do let me know in the comments if you have any questions so in my next video i will generate a full flesh lwc component and demonstrate you to use that in salesforce org and if you like this video then subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching i will see you in next video